Welcome to Weekly Market Roundup by SoftLogic Stockbrokers. Market Highlights Weekly market turnover averaged up to 0.8 billion, reducing by 69% compared to last week, where daily turnover hovered around 2.7 billion. The top turnover generators were John Keels Holdings, Capital Alliance, Expolanca Holdings, Distilleries Company, and Sumpeth Bank. Local News the 2024 budget estimates a deficit of LKR 2.9 trillion, up 19% from the 2023 projection, with expenditures of LKR 7 trillion and revenues of LKR 4 trillion. Taxes on domestic goods and services are expected to provide 53% of the revenue followed by the VAT hike, while interest and principal debt repayment are to account for 50% of expenditure. To boost the construction industry, government organizations will give free land to builders for free to develop buildings according to the plans of the respective government agencies. The institutions will be required to pay the construction company a monthly rent when the work is completed. The Sri Lankan apparel sector will benefit from the 2024 national budget proposal to create four more export processing zones. Moreover, the proposed new free trade agreement with India would further allow the sector to increase the exports. Sri Lanka is planning to phase out non-tariff import taxes including CESS, port and airport levy within a period of three to five years to bolster its trade relations with Asian nations and beyond. Over the first 15 days of November, Sri Lanka had 74,664 foreign visitors, raising the overall number of arrivals to over 1.2 million. This is the highest year-to-date number in three years. The sector is optimistic in attracting 1.6 million visitors and earning 2.5 billion US dollars by year's end. The phase 2 of the port city would commence in first quarter of 2024, as they are about to witness an infusion of foreign direct investment, with the recent signing of the agreement of 1.6 billion US dollars. These key project developments in CPC are planned to break ground by the end of June 2024 and position itself as a regional powerhouse in trade, finance, and economic development. Interim Updates for September Quarter Commercial banks' net profit stood at $6.2 billion up by 6% year-on-year. A heightened emphasis on lending has seen where its loan book has grown by 4.33% over three months and reversing the trend of the first half of the year. The group's deposits crossed the 2 trillion rupees milestone up by 4.1%. NDB reported a net profit of 3 billion up by 380% year on year, backed by a growth in net interest income of 30% year on year to mark 9.5 billion. The bank has also announced its plans to raise tier 2 capital via Basel III compliant listed debentures in further strengthening its capital position, and the issue is set to be concluded before the end of this year. Sumpeth Bank achieved a net profit of 5.1 billion with a significant year-on-year growth, amidst a drop in net interest income driven by increased interest expenses. The loan book declined by LKR 55 billion from December 2022, mainly due to the LKR appreciation, while the deposit base increased by 110 billion from December 2022. Primary dealers have performed with boosted net profits, for instance, Capital Alliance gained a net profit of $9.9 billion backed by a net interest income of $1.1 billion and a strong financial asset gain of $13.5 billion. While First Capital Holdings reported a net profit of $6.1 billion backed by a net trading income of $9.7 billion. SoftLogic Stockbrokers Highlights Recently a budget discussion forum has been conducted by SoftLogic Stockbrokers. Please contact your broker to get more details. This will be uploaded on YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. Hope to see you in next week.